Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my Fallout New Vegas Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps Guide. This guide will showcase and explain how to get every star cap within the game. Star Bottle Caps are part of the quest The Legend of the Star where the player will need to collect 50 of these caps and present them to Festus at the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. Star Bottle Caps look similar to normal bottle caps however have a blue glowing star stamped onto them. Collecting any additional star caps after this quest is completed will simply convert them to normal bottle caps. Aside from the set locations in the game, the player also has a 5% chance of being given a star bottle cap when drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular bottle cap location, but without further ado, let's get into the video. First up is the 188 trading post. Head to the wooden bar counter and next to a bottle and a lantern will be the cap. After collecting your first star bottle cap, after a few in-game hours you will meet Malcolm Holmes who will track down the player no matter where they are. He will warn the player about collecting them, however if the player kills Malcolm and loots his corpse he will have 6 star bottle caps on his inventory. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling as I often do and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. If you're traveling near Nipton, you will see the random encounter of Thomas and Jacqueline. Between the two of them, you can walk away with an additional nine star bottle caps. None at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. She's been friendly this whole time. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. Ah! Next up is the Aerotech Office Park. Head into the Aerotech Suite 300 and make your way into the kitchen, the last door on the left. On the kitchen sideboard next to some yum yum deviled eggs will be the cap. Next up is the Allied Technologies offices. There are two caps in this location. First head into the offices and head through the first door on the right. On the right hand side desk will be the first cap. The second can be found in the filing room on a cubicle desk. Next up is Bitter Springs. There are two caps at this location. First head into the office and on the sideboard next to a ham radio and a coffee machine will be the first cap. The second cap can be found nearby next to the ham radio underneath a Poseidon energy poster. Next up is Black Mountain. Start at the bottom and make your way all the way to the top. Enter the left hand building which is Tabitha's storage building. Head past the super mutant dummy and on the bottom shelf between two crates will be the cap. Next is the Blue Paradise Vacation Rentals. There are two caps at this location. First head into the submerged middle rental building. Head near the open fridge and the first cap will be floating among some bottles and other caps. Next head into the northern submerged building. On the southern counter will be the cap next to some other caps. Next up is Bonnie Springs. There are two caps at this location. Head to Bonnie Springs and make your way to the campfire. Head directly southeast until you come to a building. On a porch inside some empty boxes will be the two caps. Next up is Boulder City. Head into the Bighorn Saloon. Head straight into the left and the cap will be on a round table next to a chessboard. Next up is Bradley's Shack. Head into the shack and make your way towards the back left corner where some sandbags and ammo crates are placed. On the floor next to the boxes will be the cap. Next up is Brewer's Beer Bootlegging. Head into the shack and turn straight to your left upon entering the shack. On top of the bookshelf next to some caps will be the bottle cap. Next up is Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch. Head into the building and make your way to the back room on the left. On a shelf next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is the California Sunset Drive-In. Head to the back of the parking space and into the ruined building. On the floor next to some Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles will be the cap. Next up is Colville Bay. There are two caps at this location. You can find both within Captain Dean's boat rentals. Make your way into the building and the first can be found in the display case. The second can be found on the counter behind the display. Next up is Camp Forlorn Hope. Enter the mess hall south of the stream. On a table next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is Camp Golf. There are three caps at this location. Enter the resort house and take the stairs up to the right. Enter the first room on the right and the three caps can be found on a dresser. Next up is Camp McCarran. Make your way into the airport and enter the concourse. Make your way further down to the storage area where Contreras is. In a box on a metal shelf will be the cap. Next up is Camp Searchlight. Make your way into the fire station. You can only get access to this when helping Logan in the NCR storage area of the camp. Move all the way down to the kitchen and on the table next to two Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles will be the cap. Next up is the Cap Counterfeiting Shack. There are three caps at this location. Make your way into the shack and head through to the cellar. All three caps are on the table on the right hand side. Next up is Cerulean Robotics. 
head to Freeside and make your way all the way around past the train yard. Enter the building and enter the first room on the right. The cap is on the table next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Next step is Cliffside Prospector Camp. Head into the camp and the cap can be found on the chessboard on a wooden crate. Next up is Cottonwood's Cove. Make your way to the women's toilets on the bottom shelf next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is the Coyote Mines. Make your way into the shack and the cap can be found on the table next to two Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles. Next up is the Crimson Caravan Company. Head into the area and make your way into the main office. On a radio amplifier on a desk near Don Hostetlo will be the cap. Next up is the El Dorado Gas and Service. Make your way into the building and on the counter next to a register and display case will be the cap. Next is the El Dorado substation. Make your way into the building and on the left hand corner on a trash can next to an Etotronic 3000 will be the cap. Next up is the El Rey Motel. Make your way to the top left room and on the right hand side on a long bookshelf will be the cap. Next is the emergency service rail yard. Head to the area and on a mattress will be the cap. Next up is the field shack. Make your way into the shack and on the right hand side in a refrigerator will be the cap. Next is the Fisherman's Pride Shack. Make your way to the shack and on the right hand table next to a toaster will be the cap. Next is the Gibson Scrapyard. Make your way into the building and head all the way to the back of the building. On a bottom shelf in the corner of the room will be the cap. Next up is Good Springs. There are two caps at this location. First, make your way west to the general store and enter the house. On the table in the master bedroom next to a chessboard will be the first cap. Next, make your way to the schoolhouse and head east from there and enter the house. In the kitchen on the sidebar next to some bottles will be the cap. Next up is the Grub and Gold Breast Stop. On a picnic bench outside the building will be the cap in a bowl. Next up is Guardian Peak. Make your way to the top and near a campfire on some wooden crates will be the cap. Next up is Gun Runners. Head inside the building and make your way into the first room on the left hand corner. In a wooden box with some Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles next to a coffee machine will be the cap. Next up is the Gypsum Train Yard. Enter the house and make your way to the back of the house. On a desk with a broken terminal will be the cap. Next up is Harper's Shack. Make your way into the shack and head to the back of the shack. On a table will be the cap. Next up is Hell's Motel. This is found within the Mesquite Mountains crater. Enter the building and head to the back of the room. On a table will be the cap. Next up is Highway 95 Vipers Encampment. Make your way inside the small shelter and next to some bedrolls will be the cap. Next up is the Horowitz Farmstead. Enter the burnt out barn and make your way to the back underneath the stairs in the balcony. On a box near some Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles will be the cap. Next up is Hostetler Home. Head directly northwest from Durable Dun Sat Caravan. Make your way into the house and on the side table between two couches will be the cap. Next up is Hunter's Farm. There are two caps at this location. Enter the house and on the kitchen counter will be the two caps. Next up is Jacobstown. Enter the town and make your way to the bungalow furthest from one from the main gate. On a table near some playing cards will be the cap. Next up is Jean Skydiving. Make your way into the building and on the table next to a radio will be the cap. Next up is Junction 15 Railway Station. On a platform on a green bench next to a corpse will be the cap. Next up is Lone Wolf Radio. Make your way into the trailer and head to the very end. Near radio will be the cap. Next up is Matthew's Animal Husbandry Farm. Enter the northwestern barn and head up the stairs. On a wooden crate next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is the Mesquite Mountains Campsite. Enter the northwestern tent and on a metal box near a mattress will be the cap. Next is the Mesquite Mountains Lean To. Head west to southwest from the California Sunset Drive In and there will be an antenna sticking out underneath a cliff. Inside the small shelter on a wooden box will be the cap. Next up is the Mojave Outpost. Make your way into the barracks and on the back of the bar counter will be the cap. Next up is the Mountain Shadow Campground. On a red picnic table near some Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles will be the cap. Next up is the NCR Correctional Facility. Make your way into the Visitor Center and on the right hand side on the reception desk near a terminal will be the cap. Next up is the NCR Sharecropper Farm. Make your way into the northeastern barracks and inside on a desk next to an amplifier will be the cap. Next up is the Nellis Hangers. There are two caps at this location. Enter the metal hanger and make your way into the big room. On the first right hand table within the room with other caps will be the caps. Next up is the Nevada Highway Patrol Station. Make your way into the building and head through to the jail cells. Next to a corpse on the floor will be the cap. Next up is New Vegas Steel. Make your way into the building via the blue door. On a desk with a broken terminal will be the cap. Next up is the Nipton Road Rest Stop. On a counter next to the register and display case will be the cap. Next up is Nipton. Enter the house opposite the general store and make your way into the bedroom. On a long bookshelf next to a chessboard will be the cap. Next up is North Vegas Square. Make your way into the grey and head up the stairs. Enter the third room on the right and on a table next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is Novak. There are two caps at this location. 
First, make your way to the motel and enter the room furthest right on the second floor. On the table to the right near some noodles will be the cap. For the second, make your way to the house near no bark shack. Enter through to the kitchen and on the corner table next to a sunset sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is the old nuclear test site. Make your way into the shack and on the table next to a chemistry set will be the cap. Next up is Prim. There are two caps at this location. For the first, enter the Bison Steve Hotel. Head through to the lobby area with the elevator and on the left hand side on a drawer will be the cap. For the second, head towards the south exit and enter the first building on the left. On a bookshelf next to a radio will be the cap. Next up is the raided farmhouse. Make your way into the trailer and at the very end in a refrigerator will be the cap. Next up is the Repcom headquarters. There are five caps at this location. Make your way into the building and enter the right hand room with the lock terminal. On a desk next to a broken terminal will be the first cap. For the second, head back to the main entrance. Make your way to the gift shop and inside on the desk counter will be the cap. For the third, make your way to the second floor. Make your way almost to the centre room with four desks. On a desk opposite the red key card will be the cap. For the fourth, make your way to the top floor, enter the main office and on the main office desk will be the cap. For the fifth, head back and enter the left office. In the corner of the room on the floor next to a bookshelf will be the cap. Next up is the scavenger platform. Make your way to the centre platform and on a metal shelf will be the cap. Next up is Scorpion Gulch. Make your way through until you're at the centre. On a rock next to a dead wastelander will be the cap. Next up is Searchlight North Gold Mine. Head into the mine and make your way through and follow the right hand path. Halfway down to the left on a wooden crate will be the cap. Next up is Silver Peak Mine. Make your way into the shack and on the table next to a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle will be the cap. Next up is Sloan. Make your way into the mess hall and on the left hand table near a Sunset Sarsaparilla vending machine will be the cap. Next up is the Smith Mesa Prospector Camp. Make your way into the small shelter and at the very end on a concrete block will be the cap. Next up is Sniper's Nest. On a bench next to some ammo will be the cap. Next up is Snyder Prospector Camp. Enter the small shelter and on a ruined book on the floor will be the cap. Next is the Seven Nevada Wind Farm. Make your way into the shack and on the table next to some scrap metal will be the cap. Next is the Sunken Sunset Sarsaparilla's truck. There are three caps at this location. Head west of the scavenger platform and find the truck. Near some wooden crates and multiple Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles will be the cap. Next is the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. Make your way into the building and make your way around to the second floor. Follow through to the main office and then lock the safe and loot the cap. Next up is the Devil's Gullet. Make your way into the crater and on the floor near the ramp next to some Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles and a crate will be the cap. Next up is the Prospector's Den. Make your way into the cave and enter the building within the cavern. Enter the first room on the right and on the counter on the right hand side will be the cap. Next up is Vault 3. Head through to the living quarters, continue through past the jail cell, head down the left stairs and around and back up a level. Enter the left hand bedroom and on a desk next to a terminal will be the car. Next up is Vault 19. Head through and use the elevator to the living quarters. Make your way to the blue section and enter the second bedroom. On a desk next to a working terminal will be the car. Next up is the Viper Gang Ambush. Make your way to Nipton and make your way east. Halfway through the canyon you will have the Viper Gang attacks near a destroyed truck. On a wooden crate near the truck will be the car. The final location is the wrecked highwayman. Head to the car wreckage and inside next to some scrap will be the car. Once you have gathered the 50 caps needed, head to the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters and speak to Festus. Hand in your chips and you will gain access to the reward vault. Woohoo! You did it partner! All in for you! Oh, Festus knew you could do it! I suppose you'll be wanting that prize now! Inside you will find the body of Alan Marks, his unique laser pistol called Pew Pew and his holotape. You will also find lots of caps within several wooden containers. And there we have all the star bottle caps within Fallout New Vegas. I hope you find this video helpful and as always thank you for watching.